All right, Dan Forsella here with Stetson men's basketball head coach Casey Alexander. Uh, what's probably going to become a, a regular occurrence for us, we're going to sit down and talk about the team, what's going on with the team, the program. Um, so this first one, let's start off with talking about how this summer went and, and what the team has been up to. Well, I think we had a good summer. I uh, hope so. Our guys put in a lot of good work, certainly on the academic end of things. They held up their end of the bargain and really performed well. We had a lot of guys actually get ahead and, um, and accomplish what we wanted to there. But the, the changes of allowing coaches to be on the floor with players for a certain amount of time each week, that was really beneficial. Um, it was not only beneficial for the new guys that came in, but even the returning guys just to have a little bit more time on the floor and be able to monitor you know, their workload and, and how they're going about things. Now you talked about some of the newcomers. Um, they've had a chance to get on campus this summer, and now they're back and starting school. Talk about some of the new guys that we got on the team. Well, we've got five new guys, four true freshmen, and then Kyle Secor is a redshirt. And so uh, we're excited about what all of them bring to the table, and they were all here for at least one session. Kyle was able to get here for the first session, which is actually in May, and, um, and be here with our returning players. And then the four new guys uh, were here for the second session in June. Uh, a great way to acclimate them to our philosophies, um, offensively, defensively, kind of how we go about drills and practices, that sort of thing. And then just in the bigger picture of things, uh, let them see what Stetson's all about. And um, so it was really beneficial in that regard. They all bring different things to the table athletically. Uh, now since then, school started back up. You guys are back on the court. Uh, talk about how those workouts have been going, both individually and the team stuff. Well, they've gone well. You know, it's early, and so you would hope that uh, at this point you don't have a lot of negative things to say. Coaches are never really pleased, um, but the effort has been good. We were really pleased with how they came back uh, as far as being in shape and just their mentality for uh, being ready to have a good season and uh, improve on what we did last year. Um, you know, it's not it's not always going to be pretty, but um, but I think we're accomplishing what we want to accomplish. Uh, we know that we've got to be a much better defensive team. Um, that's kind of the tone for our workouts right now is to uh, is to, to have a little better mindset defensively of what we want our team to look like, and so that's where our focus is right now. But that the range for what we look for and what we're trying to accomplish that'll change as the as the fall goes on. Now, have you guys been able to take advantage of the the new athletics center over in a uh by the soccer field, well, it, the football practice field. It, we're getting closer and closer. Yeah. It's um, as with any new facility of that magnitude and, and that nice. It's not quite ready um, for us to get the full benefit of it, but it's a great thing for Stetson. and it's going to be great for our program. The weight room and all that goes along with that will be super for it for every sport, but ours included. We're really excited about having that here. Now the schedule was released uh, just a little while ago. Talk about some of the things on the schedule upcoming and, and some of the things you're excited for. Well, it's, it's a reflection of what we want our schedule to look like. It's very similar to last year, and it's what it's going to be. It's what it's going to look like going forward, and that is it's got a pretty heavy dose of Florida schools on it, especially non-conference, obviously. Uh, but we've got some notoriety games that everybody gets excited about as well. I think the, the most of which is the UCF game, the USF game at home. We get UCF there, but we get UCF, USF. A, uh, a Big East opponent coming into our gym, right. and that's a great night for Stetson. All right, thank you, Coach, for taking the time with us here on uh, Go Hatters.